Huge thank you to Typology for sponsoring a portion of today's video, but more on them in a minute. It's so much later. It's already almost 7 p.m. and tonight is Friday. It's supposed to be like date night. So even though I have so many like packages to unbox and some fun things I want to do in the bathroom, like putting up the shelves and stuff, I just feel like I'm going to have to do that tomorrow because... <sighs> I'm so tired and I got off. I literally just got out of work at like 6 30. So I think I'm gonna put up the shower curtains tonight and maybe the shelf because I do want to be able to shower in the morning in my own shower. Anyway, so let's go put up. Oh my gosh, there's like so many packages here and there's even more in the bathroom that I wanted to unbox. But I just, I'm waiting for David to get here with our dinner and we're just gonna watch a movie and relax. So I'm gonna do what I can before we start our date night. And then we'll pick up and do the rest tomorrow morning. So I think this is the shower curtain. Oh my gosh. I ordered these a while ago, but these are some Febreze lavender scent. I'm trying to find the shower shelves and it's not working. So I ended up still unboxing things, which is funny. So I got this hair shampoo brush and a spray mop, but I'm not gonna like fully unbox things until I'm ready to actually show you and use them. I also ordered this body scrubber, but I don't wanna open these until I have my shelf up and it's ready to use and I'm, I can't find that, so. So I finally found the shower caddy. The goal is to put this up and then also my shower curtain because I think what's gonna happen is this, I'll probably have to let it sit overnight before I can actually fill it with my shampoos and stuff and I wanna do that tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to get this done. <laughs> Thank you. So I went with a different style this time than I did in my last appointment because I didn't like like seeing the actual rack. So I like this look. It just looks a little bit more sleek, more finished. Look at that. Oh yeah, that is so nice. But then it still like ventilates and lets the water drip and everything. And it's still stainless steel. So now, the question is, do I wanna have these once again on the opposite side of the shower over here? Or do I want them by the shower this time? Because either way it looks good. But I will say if it's under the shower, like my shampoo, my sponge is more likely to get wet and stay wet or just get in the way of the water. Like sometimes I like to move my shower head down like this to like get my feet or something when I'm shaving. So I think I'm gonna put it on this side. This doesn't take up much space, honestly. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. Yep, that's the move. Oh, it looks so nice. Cool beans. Installation kit. This one actually has pictures which is nice. I'm supposed to leave it still for 24 hours. Good thing I'm doing this tonight, because then tomorrow night, I can actually fill it with things. So this is how it's gonna end up attaching. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh so, yeah, that makes more sense. I'm just gonna eyeball this, honestly. I just wanna see like what the height is gonna be like. Let's see how tall this will be. Good morning. Hopefully the fan is not too loud. It's gonna be loud though because I need it on because I just showered and I just had the most luxurious shower. It felt so good. I still need to get like a shower curtain. Well, like the shower curtain liner. So my curtain got a little bit wet, but I just, I had a shower. I couldn't wait anymore. And then I did put up my shower shelves. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. I love them. And they have these little hooks. I will say I was supposed to wait 12 more hours. I only let the sticky adhesive part stick for 12 hours. 
hours so we'll see how long that lasts but good morning happy saturday today's the day tv will get mounted and i'm gonna redo my whole bathroom but for now let me quickly get ready for the day i actually woke up a few hours ago and i had a croissant and coffee and did some editing and i still need to do a lot more editing but it's 11 30 and the best buy comes between 12 and 4 and i think he said i was the first appointment of the day so let's get a little presentable for the day Thank you Typology for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you don't know who Typology is, they are a top selling French skincare brand created in Paris. I love that they are simple, minimalist, and environmentally friendly. At every step of design, they prioritize using recycled and recyclable materials, and all of their products are vegan, naturally sourced, and environmentally friendly. I personally struggle with eczema and dry skin, especially in the winter, so I have to be extra careful to only use natural, moisturizing ingredients and after incorporating Typology's four-step glow routine into my morning self-care routine for a few weeks, I can honestly say I'm in love. The Radiance Face Scrub with Rosehip Oil perfectly exfoliates my skin. It's so gentle and smells so good from the natural rosehip and carrot oil. After exfoliating, I apply the Radiance Mask with Yellow Clay and Turmeric. It's perfectly concentrated in active antioxidants to restore radiance, and it has helped reduce my skin texture and add hydration to my skin. I'm always a bit hesitant about trying new face masks, but this one feels so light, natural, and hydrating. I simply set a 10 minute timer, let it sit on my face while I worked on making my morning cafecito before coming back to rinse it off with warm water. I don't know about you, but I love a good serum. This Radiant Serum with 11% vitamin C has brought life back into my skin. It makes my skin feel hydrated and has naturally brightened my complexion. The glow drops might be my favorite part of this glow routine. You can mix them into your daily moisturizer or sunblocks and then apply. It's enriched with vitamin C and provides a natural luminous glow to your skin, not glittery or shiny. Lastly, they sent over this tinted serum with vitamin C and aloe vera, which leaves my skin feeling light and helps me achieve the perfect glow. If you want to try out Typology for yourself, make sure to use my link in the description below. When you spend a minimum of $40, you get a free biphase eye makeup remover. And of course, it's vegan and 99% naturally derived. Thank you once again, Typology, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I recently got this robe from Ikea and I have to say, I'm obsessed. It's so cozy. Ugh, I feel like I could be in this all day, but I definitely need to change at some point since the guy from Best Buy is coming. I already had my morning coffee earlier, but now it's time to have my second coffee of the day. Cause you know, we got, we got a lot to do. I have to put away the dishes from the dishwasher, wash the new flatware that I got from Target. Oh, but first let's do some fun unboxings. Um, first, let me make my coffee. And then it's actually lunchtime, so I'm probably gonna eat some leftovers. Kind of messy leftovers, but last night for like an at home little date night, we watched this movie on Amazon Prime. It's so good. It's about like the first Mexican farm worker to be an astronaut and fly to space. 
what was it called? A Million Miles Away. It's so good, it was so good and so inspirational. And it was also fun to see a movie that like actually had, I don't know, like Mexican or Latino music in it playing and like they kept the Spanish in and they just like translated it with subtitles. I thought that was really nice. I know there's some movies like that that are mainstream, but not a ton and it was just so inspirational and like so relatable in so many ways, but still, like inspirational because you know he's like next level but a lot of the things that he shared I could relate to just being like a daughter of immigrants and stuff so I thought it was really really good highly highly recommend if you haven't watched it so I got this hair shampoo brush which I'm really excited for because I used to have one of these in my apartment but I just I got rid of everything so this is a new version oh my gosh Oh, this is way better and it's like beige neutral. So you use this to like massage your head, like when you shower and it like stimulates blood flow. I got a pack of two, so one for me and one for my boyfriend. This I'm so excited about. It is my rotating shelves for my bathroom. I got the white, I thought it was, I think it's white and gold. So the gold bars are here. I'm gonna put this together after I change and eat. I'm so excited for that. I also need to unbox this spray mop because I need to mop the floors after the Best Buy guy leaves. I'm not going to do it now. I am going to have him take off his shoes. I've been having everyone take off their shoes, which I've never had in my home in Oregon. So like my family is not used to it, but they can get used to it because I really want to take care of my floors. And not only that, like I just was doing research on like how bad it is. And disgusting it is to wear your outside shoes in your house and like all the things you carry in and the toxins bacteria like it's so much more than just dirt if it was just dirt I could live with that and then just clean it but it's like thinking about all the sidewalks that people walk on and might have old vomit or pee or dog poop and bringing that into the house it's just not it's not the move you know so this is the spray mop I got it's the panda grip one I like that it has like the fluffies but it's also mostly just this flat microfiber so you put this together and then this middle piece I like this, this piece. There we go. I'm gonna fit this way so it has to be this way to be determined I will have to put that together later I also got a silicone body scrubber I didn't want to get a loofah they just stay wet and they build up so much bacteria and I didn't want to do washcloths because we don't even have our washer and dryer yet and washcloths require you to wash them after every use. So maybe in the future, but I wanted to try this one. It had really good ratings on Amazon. This is definitely an upgrade from the one I had before. Oh yeah, this is really cool. There's all these little crevices and it's also, it has a good little grip on the back. So I will try this out and I will let you all know if I recommend, but it feels nice and sturdy and it definitely feels like something that I could easily wash myself with. So I'm excited. So far I'm loving everything that I got. I kind of took a chance cause I ordered things based off of like ratings and you know, Amazon Prime deals. Cause we're trying to save money since there's so much to buy. These are the shower rods. So I also got another one of these little phone holders. So I'm gonna take this out and put it in my bathroom as well. Today's gonna be very focused on redoing the bathroom or like organizing it a little bit because I'm not gonna do the shelves today. It's gonna be a project for another day that's gonna need like a dedicated vlog probably. But at least like getting settled into my bathroom and having things in a place and all of that. And then I also need to clean up. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. I also need to order a shower curtain liner. going to put my phone holder like my waterproof phone holder in my shower it comes with three of these little adhesive hooks that you can put wherever you want I'm gonna put mine right here but on the other side that way it's kind of like hidden since it's something that I don't always use and I just love how these shelves look so sleek 
So I'm gonna put that there. I also have this like Lazy Susan shelf that I'm gonna put together, but that I'm gonna do in the living room while I watch something on Netflix or something. So this is what it looks like. I almost forgot to show y'all, but I also got this little trash can off of Amazon. It's literally perfect. It matches so nicely. It's like this matte white color and it has a little like gold lining and a gold little petal. But now I'm going to go put this together and maybe start a new show. I almost forgot to show y'all, but Best Buy came in and they mounted the TV and it looks so good. This whole extension cable situation is just gonna have to be a temporary fix. I did order a white extension cord, so that should be arriving today. And that will also be a temporary fix because eventually we're gonna want to hide the wires completely. And since it's not a brick fireplace, it's like a firewood burning fireplace that has like a tunnel and it's hidden behind the drywall. But we don't really plan on using the fireplace to burn wood since there's a heating system in the house. It's mostly for looks, I guess. And obviously in case of an emergency, but having some tzatziki and pita chips. Mm. Time for cozy vibes because I love to be like productive on the weekends, but also be cozy. So we're gonna figure out this whole lazy season situation. This was super easy to put together and I thought maybe the three layers would be too much, but this might be really great storage. So let's go set it up in my bathroom. So it's a little tall and it's also just, I don't really love the gold color. It's a little too gold. If you can see, I feel like it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but this is definitely like a I don't know, like a shinier, brighter gold. So I don't know, I'll test it out for a while and see, but I really like this concept because it takes up less space and has way more storage. This is really nice. I just love that I can see everything and it's super spacious and stuff. So I think I'm gonna leave this for a while and then if I end up hating this like gold color, I feel like that's not the TV turning on by itself. Like what? It's like the one good thing and annoying thing about voice activation. Anyway, like I was saying, look at my counters. This freed up so much space. It looks so good. I also have not fully unboxed my fridge slash freezer. So let's see that. Wow, she's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love my fridge. She's beautiful. So this is the Bosch 800 series. I think it's 22 or 23 cubic feet. Counter depth. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Has this middle like snack drawer. I love that it doesn't like stick out, that the handles go inward. And there's so much room. This is insane. This could definitely be enough for a whole family. But as you know, it's just me and my partner. So it's more than enough room 
and she's just so sleek and I actually love that the water dispenser is inside and I love even more that there's always a ton of ice like a ton of ice there's also three drawers in here like three different levels so I can store a ton of stuff in here and I'm so excited about it so I didn't get the Samsung frame, which is the TV that I wanted. And honestly, it was cheaper than this one. So listen, if y'all wanna get the Samsung frame, cause let's say you care more about aesthetics than like screen resolution, I say do it and especially do it on Black Friday cause I'm sure they're gonna have sales. But this one is actually LG, which I was hesitant about getting. But when I went to Best Buy and I just saw all the different TVs, this one just looked the best, like it stood out to me. Besides the Sony one, it was between this one and a Sony TV. They told me that this one also has the art mode. So I just wanna see how <laughs> I can make that happen. So let's see if I can figure that out. So it's called Always Ready. I can set it with a wallpaper. So essentially anytime I turn off my TV, I just press the power button and then it should open up the wallpaper. So it kind of like looks like art, but not only that, there's other options I think. So you could either have the time, like right now it's 4.43, or an art piece, or an art video, which is cool. Moments, which is like you can upload your own photos and have that on the screen. You can also just have a sound playing. So let's see, there's cafe. It's downloading the music real quick. So these are different options that your screen will automatically go to and that you can choose when you turn off your TV. You can also change the art. This one's on modern art. There's scenery, masterpiece, meditation, and you can change the theme, but I'm gonna stick to modern art. This one's a little bit too bright for me. It's downloading some new art. That's like the art that's gonna be shown on the screen, which is pretty cool, because it's similar to the Samsung frame, except the screen is not so matte because the Samsung frame is nice because it's matte. It looks very aesthetic like when you're not watching it, but then when you're actually watching the TV, it can make it harder to see what you're watching and also the resolution just doesn't look as good, at least from what I saw in the store and like how the Best Buy associate pointed it out. So this basket is from my real estate agent, Brooke. There's this cute little pumpkin spice hand wash, which is gonna go perfect in the bathroom. And oh my gosh, I need this for the kitchen. And it's so cute. And another one. Love the colors, Brooke. And another one. Oh my gosh, I love this. This would be nice, like on a shelf above the laundry or something. But for now, I'll just put it in my kitchen. And then a little spatula. This looks like a little serving bowl. So this is nice. I like snacky snacks. Ooh, a little marble tray. This is nice. I could maybe use this in the kitchen or in one of the bathrooms. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. A cutting board, can't have too many of these. Could also use this as a charcuterie board. And lastly, a soft blanket, which I will wash as soon as we get our washer and dryer. But I will say, she also is the sweetest and super thoughtful and she knows that I love coffee because I probably talked about it a hundred times. But she left me a cute little note, which I'm gonna read. Oh, she's so sweet. She was so much fun to work with. She got me three little gift cards to try out three cafes that are nearby, like in my neighborhood. And I'm definitely gonna use them. So I don't quite know where I'm gonna put that little marble like plate that she got me. I think that would be perfect for like the entryway if I get like a little bench or a little table that I can put there and put that on top to put my keys or something. That would be super nice. But for now, I'm just gonna play around with it. I'm feeling so grateful. I feel like today was a very productive day. There's still so much to do. Like I need to unload all these dishes, do a Costco run, clean up, get a working mop because the mop that I got ended up not working out so there's still tons to do before we're like officially settled in but we're so close and then after this i'll obviously be doing home updates productive days in my life and all of that like resets and doing updates to rooms 
little by little like for example the coffee bar that's something I really want to do but before that I really want to figure out my closets and a couple of other things that I think need to be prioritized in order for my home to feel more cozy and just functional like I love aesthetics don't get me wrong but like aesthetics is very much secondary so that's how I'm prioritizing my house updates it's like functionality and so two main things that will make my home feel more functional is to update my closet and to add in at least like a temporary coffee bar I can set up over there because my coffee bar area right now is just this and that's just not gonna do like if you know me you know I be drinking my cafecitos every day sometimes twice a day and that just needs its own moment this is just not enough but like I said there's still so much to do but I do feel so 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 much more settled and I'm so excited to continue sharing this with all of you so I will be back at it probably tomorrow with another vlog so make sure to stay tuned for that I love you all so much thank you all so much for watching if you've been enjoying my house vlogs move-in vlogs make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already make sure to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a single video from me but with all that said I love you all so much and I hope to see you all in the next video